everyone, and welcome to HO3. My name is Louise Niverson, and I am a teacher at Cannons Creek. But enough about me, this is about you. We know that you have been chilling at home, being safe, and of course, sanitizing. But school will be open soon, and so we have decided to give you a head start. Our lesson today is on maths, and we will be focusing on data handling. So let's get started. We are going to learn about four important concepts, mean, median, mode, and range. Now in maths, we will often ask you to handle data. This could be the results of a scientific experiment, measurements, or even a survey. Often the information we can collect can be very large. For example, you could be conducting a traffic survey on a busy road, and there may be a lot of numbers to look at, and it would be pretty hard to make some sense of it. So that's where mean, median, mode, and range come in, and they can really help us out. They are mathematical devices that help us interpret large amounts of data so that we can understand the information better. So let's look at each of these and find out how to calculate them. Now, you may never have heard of the words the mean before, but you may have heard of the average. Well, here's some good news for you. Mean and average are just two different words to explain the same property of a data set. To calculate the mean, you simply use a combination of addition and division. First, you add all the numbers in your data set together, and then you divide that by how many numbers you've added up. Median is the middle of a data set. It is the number that splits the data into two even groups. Sounds easy, right? Well, it is, but you have to remember one very important fact, that in order to find the median, you first have to order your data from the smallest value all the way to the largest value, then you can find the middle. Okay, so now we know the difference between mean and median, let's look at mode. Mode is the mathematical word we use to explain the value that appears most frequently in a data set. For example, you may go outside every day in the summer and measure the temperature outside. You will find that something like, I don't know, 28 degrees might occur the most. It is the most frequently occurring temperature in the summer. But finally, there is the range. The range is the difference between the smallest and the largest value in a data set. To calculate the range, you simply subtract your smallest value from your largest value. Often, the toughest part is not remembering uh, how to calculate mean, medium, mode, and range, but it's remembering the difference between them. Okay, squad members, I hope you've been taking notes and have retained everything I've taught you about mean, median, mode, and range. But we know that that knowledge means nothing without practice. Bye, squad members from Cannons Creek in Cape Town.